coming up, we're going to be talking about Rosalind coming to Disney Plus. We're going to be talking about the success of Black Panther Wakanda Forever and much more. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's Tuesday, it's time for a quick Disney Plus News Roundup. So let's start off with talking about Rosalind. Now this film was released last year on Hulu in the United States and on Disney Plus around the world. The good news is it's actually going to be released on Disney Plus this coming Friday for Valentine's week. Um, I thought it was a, quite a fun film. I'm um, kind of a play on Romeo and Juliet. I think it's a good timing, obviously, with Valentine's. The bad news is it's only going to be on there for barely a week. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a limited um, sharing deal. Um, Disney has been doing this with some other films. Some of the National Geographic stuff have been kind of going to Hulu temporarily. Um, I honestly, I think this is fantastic that the film is coming over. Probably sh we should see more of this, more general entertainment, more content from 20th Century Studios, more Hulu originals on Disney+. Plus. I just really don't like the barely a week thing. I think this just makes no sense why it's so short. Either move it there or don't move it there. For a week, it just doesn't seem to be worth the effort, the amount of press that it's getting. Um, yeah, hopefully people will check it out. Maybe this is a sign of things to come, you know, more sort of transparency between the two, kind of getting people a bit more idea, the idea of what content each one makes. Um, I think we are going to see more of this. Um, it's just a shame it's for a week. I would just would have liked to, to move it over like they did with the Orville and Love Victor and just share the content. Heck, right now they might as well just start sharing some of the content anyway between the two and just kind of get people used to the idea that it's one platform for the future because openly at some point they're going to have to do something with it they can't keep running with this dual system it's just a pain it's costing them more money yeah it's a pain but yeah so Rosalind is going to be coming I definitely recommend if you haven't seen it maybe you haven't got a Hulu subscription and you've only got Disney Plus in the US check it out if you're internationally and you haven't watched Rosalind, check it out anyway, so you'll find it on Disney+. Plus. Anyway guys, let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below. So last week, Disney Plus added the latest Marvel Studios film, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and not a huge surprise, it has been a massive success for Disney. It is the most watched Marvel film to debut on at Disney+, Plus in the first five days. And to be honest, it's not a really a huge thing, there's only probably, what, been like five or six movies, there's not been a huge amount of stuff. But obviously just showing there's obviously more um, people subscribe to Disney Plus now. So each time they do this, there's more people subscribed, especially with it being a worldwide record. Um, you know, there's some countries that haven't had previous films available. So definitely a good thing. And it really does show the power of Marvel for Disney Plus. It also definitely as well shows how releasing a film that has been a huge theatrical release kind of really in some ways doesn't make too much difference in terms of whether or not it's an original Disney Plus film or if it goes to theatres, but they obviously make a little bit more money when they release it in cinemas first. I think that's why we're going to see much more of this moving forward, but kind of does show the power of a theatrical release. I was one of the people that watched Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever in those first five days. Were you? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. We've also got a little bit of news. If you're in Australia, our National Geographic channels are going to be closing down. They're going to be coming off of Foxtel at the beginning of March and they're going to be leaving Fetch at the end of March. And um, this is kind of continuing this trend that we've seen worldwide of Disney closing down linear channels. Um, just earlier this month, it was closed down in Malaysia. Now, previously, Disney has been closing down like Disney channels and a whole host of different stuff. They've not really been going into the National Geographic side, but that looks like that's starting to kick up now. Um, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see more of this happening around the world as they shift from linear to streaming. Um, yeah, so I would say hopefully it would have meant that, you know, National Geographic content will arrive on Disney Plus quicker in Australia. But as we've seen with Disney Channel stuff, it's not quite as easy as that. But hopefully it does kind of free things up um, to make things a little bit easier to get up down there. But what do you think of National Geographic channels closing in Australia? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, I was here in the UK. I would really like it so if things aren't being split, because right now I'm having to watch um, The Magic of Animal Kingdom Season 2 on National Geographic channel, rather than watching it on Disney+, Plus, and I could have just watched it like when everybody else was. So it's a little bit annoying, but that's my own pet peeve. And also, we just don't get stuff as quick, because we have still got that channel. Also, just a quick note to say what's new on Disney Plus today. If you are in um, Australia, New Zealand, and in Canada, you've got a brand new episode of the second season of How I Met Your Father. You'll also find that new episode on Hulu in the United States. Unfortunately here in Europe we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for this series. Well anyway guys let me know what you're going to be watching on Disney Plus today. I'd love to hear your thoughts and on all of the today's news. Go check us out over at what's on at DisneyPlus.com. Like, follow and subscribe. Big thank you to all of our Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members as well. And on that note guys thank you very much. See you guys soon. Laters.